Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to answer that question of, if I'm taking an antibiotic, should I take a probiotic, and for how long if we do take it? I get this question a lot in the office, and let's get right into it. Approximately 10 trillion bacteria live in the human GI tract, and the reasons for taking antibiotics early on are things like ear infections or recurrent ear infections in children. I see so many people come in and they say, yeah, I used to get a lot of ear infections and I was on antibiotics all the time. So ear infections is one of those things. Small tip, if you get a lot of ear infections, eliminate dairy. Strep throat is another one where you get recurrent strep throat infections. Sinus infections, very common also, due to allergies or sometimes mold in the house. Chronic UTI infections in women. Dental infections. Chronic Lyme. Lung infections, pneumonia, bronchitis. There's a lot of them. A lot of causes or reasons for taking antibiotics. Okay? Now, the gut bacteria is supposed to be working in a symbiotic way, right? It's supposed to work together and the gut flora does a lot of different things in our body. But when you take antibiotics, it becomes dysbiotic or dysbiosis or leaky gut, right? It creates uh, an imbalance in the gut flora causing problems, even health issues, fatigue, um, lack of uh, vitamins, absorption, etc. So what are the best ones to take? when you're on antibiotic therapy. Number one on my list is Saccharomyces boulardii. And the reason is it's a yeast derivative and it's resistant to antibiotics. So Saccharomyces boulardii is a really good one to start with. Lactobacillus rhamnosus is another good one, has a lot of research on it. And other ones you can take, Lactobacillus acidophilus, and Bifidobacterium lactis. If you're going to take these probiotics, you want to take them two weeks prior to taking the antibiotics if you are expecting to take antibiotics, right? Sometimes we don't know, you get sick and you go to the doctor, you get a script. So ideally two weeks prior to antibiotic therapy and then the duration of the antibiotic therapy, whether it's three days, five days, seven days, 10 days, and you want to take the probiotics around three hours away from actually taking the antibiotics, okay? And then continue taking the probiotic for two weeks after finishing the antibiotic. So that is the typical regimen that I would recommend for patients to take is two weeks prior, duration of the antibiotics, and then two weeks after you're done. And that will help kind of restore that gut and prevent it from being decimated by the antibiotic. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.